Hello, my name is Fernando and welcome to Host to Be Academy. In today's video, I will teach you how to connect GoDaddy domain to Zoho Mail. But first, like this video and subscribe to the channel to support our tutorials. And the first thing we will do is access the website goldary.com. And with the home page open, we will go to the right and click on the sign in button to access our account. The Goldari dashboard will then open and we can go to the left side and select the domain option. The domains page will then open. And on this page, all the domains you have here at uh, Goldary will be listed. What you will do is go to the main you want to configure, go to the right and click on the Manage DNS button. The GoDaddy DNS page will then open. And what we're going to do is access the host2b.net website. The link to this page is in the description. And here you will have the Zorro mail records. What we're going to do is go to the first record in the point to option, select Zorro MX value and copy it. Let's go back to GoDaddy and let's click on the Add New Record button. After clicking, you will have the type. Let's click the button to choose and select MX. In the name, we will put the value of at. In priority, we will put the value of 10E in the value field. We will press Control V and paste the MX from Zorro Mail. Next, let's click the Add Another Value button. Let's double click therefore leaving two new fields available. And in the priority of the second field, let's put 20E in the priority of the third field. Let's put 50 once that's done. We'll go back to the host to be website. I came to the second record in the point two. We're going to select copy, go back to GoDaddy, and I came to value field and press control V to paste. And let's repeat the same process. Go back to host to be, come to the third record, Point two, let's select copy, go back to GoDaddy and paste in the third field. After entering this data, just come down and click the save button. And now you have correctly pointed your GoDaddy domain to Zoho Mail emails. So you just have to wait for these MXs to propagate, which takes four to 24 hours. And after doing this, you will be able to send and receive emails correctly. I hope this video helped. If it helped you, I ask you to please leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel to support our tutorials.